So we've got some examples of the chocolate here showing you the faults and also what we're looking for when it's okay. So this one, you can see we spoke on the tempering video about where we might get white streaks in our chocolate and you can really see that chocolate there. The white streaks are coming through and if we left that overnight, it's gonna become worse. It will get much whiter and we don't want that in our chocolate really. But it's not ruined, we could melt that again and re-temper it and we could come back to that lovely shine and gloss. This one here, you can see it looks a bit thick and we've got loads of bubbles in there as well. And you can see there's lots of ridges. Now that one would be very difficult to work with. So that one's a bit too cold. You can see it's got a lovely shine. So we know it's tempered, but it would be very difficult to have the right amount of time to make the shards and things like that. And then this one here is just perfect. So again, you can see it's got a lovely shine. It's got none of those streaks and none of the bubbles. So that would be the one we want to work with. Celebrate with Lola's